Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, and today we will be reviewing a lot of random figures. We got some items from Soldier Force and Scooby-Doo and G.I. Joe. One figure from Soldier Force, which is a line of military soldier stuff. And probably wondering, what is Soldier Force? Well, it is a toy line, but a knockoff toy line. But the reason why I got this stuff is for my G.I. Joe collection. So I don't have any vehicles. So I got this jet for that collection. But we're going to look at each figure. We're going to look at the old stuff first and then the Soldier Force items. We're going to look at Scooby-Doo. I've had this figure for a while and I've reviewed this before. But I finally got a complete Scooby gang to go with that Scooby-Doo. We got Freddy. Good old Shaggy. Zoinks. That's my Shaggy impression. Jinkies, and that's my Velma impression. Not a bad looking Velma figure. We got Daphne. She's always getting into trouble. Why not? We needed a Daphne and Velma, Scooby, and Shaggy to complete our Scooby Doo collection. And that's all there is to say for the Scooby Doo stuff. Now we're going to look at the box for this Soldier Force stuff. We got some nice box artwork with this Soldier Force line, which is nice. A nice product shot of that jet, which is totally a sick-looking military jet. The reason I got this is because this is going on my G.I. Joe shelf, and you get the miscellaneous weapons. And that's all there is to say. For the packaging, let's look at these. Look at the Soldier Force figure we get with this set. And we get this cool looking carbine for his hand. So you can go pew pew, bang bang with that sidearm. But I'm probably not going to display him with this because it doesn't look good on this figure. And he's just going to be tossed in the bin anyway. He doesn't have any articulation. He does... We do get an Uzi with this Soldier Force figure. We get an Uzi, which is nice. So this guy can get a gun and go pew pew, bang bang with machine gun blasts. It's just going to stick on this figure because it's the only figure I can get to fit this gun into. You can go shoot some, some dinos with that if you wanted to. He's going to wind up on my Dino Valley shelf with that gun. Slash Jurassic Park shelf. But next, we're going to look at our old figure. And it's G.I. Joe Quick Kick. And why is this in the review? Because I wanted to do G.I. Joe today. And this is a nice vintage 80s. Retro vintage 80s G.I. Joe Quick Kick. And he didn't have a gun, so I used the Soldier Force pistol in his hand. But now I got a G.I. Joe Quick Kick. And I love this figure. That's all I have to say for that figure. Let's look at the Soldier Force jet up close. It's not a bad looking jet. Nice molding, nice cockpit. I even got a G.I. Joe figure fly in this figure, fly in this vehicle. Sorry if I have to correct myself. I got a G.I. Joe pilot fly in this jet from Soldier Force, which is nice. And the engine lights up. That's pretty awesome. And it makes noise. Why not? I love some noise making toys. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.